Hello, my name is Jen and I am a creative director at 3D Universe. Today we're going to unbox the Flux Beano laser cutter. Okay, we have our handy dandy box cutter. Now let's see what's inside of here. So it looks like we have some foam to get out of the way. So let's do that first. And we have the user manual, which is about to become my new best friend, as I have never in my life set up a laser cutter or used one. So the videos that we'll be following will either be a comedy a tragedy or an adventure. Let's hope for adventure. Um, looks like everything else is enclosed inside of the BMO, so I am going to um, have to do some magic here and get it out of the box. So stay tuned. Ta da! Here we go. So we have everything inside of here. Take off the plastic cover. And then inside we have looks like a treasure box. And hose. the hose. And I'm going to see what is in here. Ooh. So it looks like we have a hose clamp or a tiny hula hoop for a little chihuahua. funnel some double-sided sticky tape a sample piece of wood some kind of lubricant I think or glue called a dongle, but under the seat, it's a thingamajigger. And some little tiny, tiny, tiny little tools uh, that I need my handy dandy box cutter to get out. Hopefully, without chopping my finger off. I apologize in advance if there's blood. Okay, I did. Okay. So there's tiny stuff for things that I don't know what is going to happen yet because I've never done this before. That's it. Okay, so first we need to plug it in. And then attach the dongle. Make sure that this is um, up instead of sideways so that you get a better connection. Uh, looks like here is some toxic gel that you shouldn't eat. Um, this is why we learn to read kids so that you don't find this on the back and think that it's Pop Rocks. So throw this away, don't eat it. Um, and then this is where we will connect the hose. So let's try that. So now I'm going to 
attack the hose with the clamp and um, instead of using their little tiny little tool I'm opting for a screwdriver. If you don't have a screwdriver that little tool will work just fine. Make sure you get it nice and tight. So I happen to live in the Pacific Northwest where it rains a lot, even in the summer. So I have been gifted this beam air through 3D Universe uh, where I will be venting my laser cutter to here through the air filter instead of trying to vent it outside um, and having to freeze to death most of the year uh, while Washington decides whether it's going to have nice weather. So. I am venting mine into this air filter, which will um, make sure that I'm not uh, inhaling toxic fumes and turning into a mutant. So uh, it is very important that when you are running your laser cutter that you vent it either outside or into some kind of air filter. So we've connected the power, the dongle, and the air hose from the box to the air filter. And now I get to push the button and turn it on. followed the instructions and set up my network and downloaded the software that I'm gonna need. And now I have my first little piece of wood and I'm gonna put it in there and then I'm gonna laser it. And it's gonna be amazing. I'm so excited. Okay. Now, we're going to do stuff over there, and it's going to laser over here, and this is going to make something magical. Yeah. So before you do any cutting or engraving, you need to adjust the focus for the laser. So you're going to first uh, find this little focus bar here, and make sure it's vertical. Then you can see that it is not touching the wood. There's still space there. So we're gonna rotate this until it falls down and just kind of sits on there and then retighten it. And then make sure you pop this back up before you start cutting. And close the lid. So first we're going to click on the little camera icon, then you find the name of your laser cutter. Now we're going to drag the camera icon across where the material is laying on the bed. Now we're going to go up to File. Examples, example of BMO, selects the whole design, drag it down, kind of center it, and then we're going to go over here to the engraving portion, click on the parameters, with, we are doing engraving. It's already got some um, power levels for us. Click on the cutting 
This is three millimeter wood. And then hit export. Choose your laser. There we go. And we'll click start. Guys, I made my first thing on a laser cutter by myself, and it was an adventure, not a tragedy. So this is the Flux Pimo, and it is an awesome little machine for classrooms or newbies like me who have never started laser cutting before. Um, I felt like I was able to follow the instruction manual very easily. They made it very clear from the start to the finish of what to do and how to do it. They had photos and step-by-step um, -step instructions, and I never once felt like I was lost. Um, and I went into this feeling pretty intimidated by the idea of setting up something like a laser cutter by myself and um, found out that it wasn't really that hard. Um, it was actually quite easy and um, I am really looking forward to seeing what I can do with this thing now that I've got it up and running and making things. So check out our shop at shop3duniverse.com and see what you think and um, join me in burning stuff. <laughs>